Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to take a very brief look at the A-Wing expansion for Star Wars X-Wing the Miniatures game. Now, the A-Wing is part of the Wave 2 expansion set. Again, there are typically four ships per wave, and there are about three waves out on the market as of right now. So with that being said, let's take a look at the A-Wing and see what kind of skills and pilots it brings to the table. Alright, now here's just a quick glance at some of the components for the A-Wing expansion. Again, I didn't include all of the tokens. Um, the expansions do include a number of tokens, and they usually complement the ship class in question. In this case, you've got some focus and some evade and a target lock action, so you're going to have those uh, tokens to complement this expansion. You get the idea. Now let's uh, look at the model. As you can see, it is pretty small and sleek. Now, for those of you not familiar with the A-Wing class, uh, the A-Wing is a lot more maneuverable than the X-Wing and the Y-Wing. Basically, this is sort of like an interceptor class. Very quick, very nimble, um, and great for keeping up with those pesky TIE interceptors. All right, and you're looking at the maneuver dial. As you can see, it can make a hard left or a hard right at one, just like the TIE Interceptor can if you've been following along in the series. You can make a hard left at two, slight left, uh, straight, slight right, and a hard right at two. Just like the TIE Interceptor, all of them are green maneuvers, so that will remove a stress token. You can make a hard left at three, slight left at three. You can go straight at three, however, this is a green maneuver. Slight right at three, hard right at three. Uh, you can also make a K turn at three. On four, you can go straight for a green maneuver, and you can go straight on five for a green maneuver, and you can also make a K turn on five. And once again, we're looking at the Boost Action Reference Card, something I've already covered in the TIE Interceptor video. Just to sum this up, um, when ships are done maneuvering, they are allowed to uh, take an action, assuming that they don't have a stress token on their ship. Well, the Boost Action is one of the actions on the A-Wing's action bar, along with the TIE Interceptor. And instead of playing an evade or a focus, they can play this boost action. And what that allows them to do is that allows them to make an extra move on top of the maneuver that they just did. They can nudge their ship forward one to the slight left one or to the slight right one. As far as your pilot cards are concerned, you have a total of four to look at. Uh, once again, the base stats are the same across the board. Your attack is 2, agility 3, hull value 2, and shield value 2. As far as the individual pilots are concerned, uh, you've got Tycho Kelchu, I think I pronounced that right, uh, has a pilot skill of 8. Uh, his special ability, you may perform actions even while you have stress tokens. That is amazingly powerful. I mean, even though... <laughs> I mean, even though Darth Vader can take two actions um, instead of one, this will allow him to continue playing these actions, even if he has, say, like, five or six stress tokens on his ship. You know, so that, that's pretty darn good. As far as the actions are concerned, you've got focus, target lock, you've got the boost action, which I just explained, and you've got your evade, and you've also got uh, some upgrades along the bottom here. And in order to equip Tycho Kelchu onto your team, that'll set you back 26 points. Next up, as far as pilots are concerned, you've got Arvel Krynid, uh, I'm guessing. I wish these names were a little easier to pronounce. Anyway, you've got a pilot skill of 6, uh, same base stats, the special ability. You may declare an enemy ship inside your firing arc that you are touching as a target of your attack. Normally, when two ships are touching, they will not be allowed to attack each other. This special ability negates that. You've got your standard actions, focus, target lock, boost action, evade. You can equip an upgrade here, and equipping uh, Arvel here um, onto your team will set you back 23 points. Now, these other two pilots are your no-named pilots. You've got Green Squadron Pilot, has a uh, pilot skill of 3, standard actions, uh, upgrades, and worth 19 points. Finally, you have the Prototype Pilot, uh, worst of the lot. You've got a skill of 1, standard actions, you've got 1 upgrade, and um, bringing him on board is 17 points. 
Now this uh, expansion comes with a total of five upgrade cards, the first one being this Concussion Missiles. This is a secondary weapon, it allows the player to roll four attack dice, and the fine print reads, Attack Target Lock. Spend your target lock and discard this card to perform this attack. You may change one of your blank results to a hit result. This is a cost of four. The next uh, missile upgrade is the Cluster Missiles. This allows the player to roll three attack dice, attack, target lock. Spend your target lock and discard this card to perform this attack twice. This upgrade is worth four. Homing Missiles is the last of the Concussion Missile upgrade cards. Um, that'll allow the player to roll four attack dice, attack, target lock, discard this card to perform this attack. The defender cannot spend evade tokens during this attack. This upgrade is worth five points. Now that we're past the missile upgrades, let's take a look at the push the limit upgrade card. Once per round after you perform an action, you may perform one free action shown on your action bar, then receive one stress token. That's worth three points. This is great if you don't mind stress tokens. Um, getting an extra action might be good in some cases. In fact, uh, Tycho Kelchu, I believe the pilot's name is, um, has that special ability where he can keep performing actions even though he has stress tokens on his ship. So that could be stacked with Tycho to give him a really nice advantage. Finally, you've got this Deadeye upgrade. You may treat the attack target lock header as attack focus. Um, when an attack instructs you to spend a target lock, you may spend a focus token instead. This is worth one point. Basically, you don't have to get a target lock like the proton torpedoes and some of these concussion missiles will require you to have a target lock on the enemy ship. Well, in this case, you can uh, treat the target lock as a focus and you can spend a focus instead of the target lock to perform that particular missile attack. And there you have it. That's just a very brief look at the A-Wing expansion. You can check out my review of the base game at www.dadsgamingaddiction.com or you can simply click on the links in the below description that'll take you there as well. This is Vince. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.